let us understand the types of tens that are used for treatment in physiotherapy there are basically three types of tens and uh, uh, frankly speaking uh, this discrimination is more theoretical when compared to uh, practical application uh, there are various reasons for this uh, particular statement the first thing is that still a uh, lot of researches are going on and still people are thriving to conclude that what type of tense is effective where at this level when we are getting introduced to the equipment we just have to understand that there are three types of tense that are used and where they are used and what is the working of these particular type of tense that is the main thing that we have to understand when we are at this level when we are learning about the basics of tense when you go for further research based like masters programs or when you go for further projects then you have to get in the detail of tense right now you have to remember all the three types of tense and the 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 cascade the way of working they are using so i'll uh, discuss this uh, just in a while now uh, the second thing is that nowadays there are ample and ample of transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulating devices there are lots of tense devices available in the market and they are providing with various types of their own parameters so you know they are specifying uh, uh, the the type of uh, 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 waveform that you can select they are specifying the on time and off time that you can select they are specifying so many things and along with that they are even providing you with a certain combination of parameters in the latest machines which are micro processor operated machines they are providing you with various preset programs where you can just select the program depending on the pain so let it be uh, uh, acute pain or it is a chronic pain or it is a labor pain or what type of pain you are giving you just have to select the pain and the machine automatically uh, uh, transfers the set parameters uh, on the basis uh, uh, of uh, the uh, frequency intensity amplitude pulse duration etc which are prefed in the machine and they can deliver the current so right now uh, we have to at uh, the basics of the theoretical basics we have to understand that there are three basic types of tens and how they work and what do they do so what are the three types of tens are first one is the conventional tens second is the acupuncture like or ul tens and third is the burst tens right so we are going through this particular chart and let us understand how do they work right so as discussed earlier that they work on by stimulating the mechanoreceptor so the conventional tens normally works by stimulation of the mechanoreceptors that is the a alpha and a beta receptors and uh, it works uh, on a peripheral mechanism more or less right so uh, uh, that is the first thing you have to understand and it works segmentally i'll be discussing this mechanism of action of tens where it is uh, uh, local or peripheral segmental and extra segmental in another lecture so just understand over here that uh, the conventional tens works by stimulating the a beta or a alpha uh, receptors the al tens that is the acupuncture like tens works on the basis of stimulating a twitch in the muscle right so it stimulates the g3 type of muscle fibers or the g3 types of ergo receptors they are known as ergo receptors which uh, create a which in the muscle right so along with the uh, the mechanoreceptors they are even giving a twitch right so it is a burst type of current it is not continuous like the conventional is continuous current it is a burst type of current and it creates a twitch in the muscle and this twitch also helps in some way let we will understand it in a later stage and the last the burst type of tens is uh, stimulating the a delta nociceptors so Uh, when there is chronic pain which is carried by the c fibers which is carried by as an ache so you are creating a uncomfortable type of stimulation over there so that it stimulates the spinal cord and the brain's mechanism of pain relief releasing so many neurotransmitters in response to the pain which act uh, in inhibiting the pain response right so the burst basically stimulates the acute pain response fine and the conventional basically gives a comfortable or rubbing effect and whereas the uh, ul tens gives a muscle twitch along with that a pain relief right so what are the effects so the conventional tens as it gives a 
रबिंग इफेक्ट इट क्रिएट्स अ पेरेस्थीशिया अ लोकल पेरेस्थीशिया एंड इट वर्क्स राइट वेर एज द अल टेंस एक्यूपंचर लाइक टेंस वर्क्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ मसल कंट्रेक्शन और ट्विच ऑफ अ मसल एंड द बर्स टेंस वर्क्स ऑन इंक्रीज इंटेंसिटी ऑफ स्टिमुलेशन so it increases the intensity of stimulation thereby it regenerates the effects of acute pain and acute inflammation right and it starts working now what are the parameters so the conventional tense is high in frequency it is low in intensity and it is low in amplitude it is having 100 to 200 microsecond pulse right which is the lowest pulse and 10 to 200 pulse per second duration the duration is 10 to 200 pulse per second which is the lowest and 100 to 200 microseconds which is again the lowest and it is high frequency low intensity low amplitude whereas acupuncture like tense is low frequency high intensity and high amplitude this is high frequency low intensity low amplitude that is high, low frequency high intensity and high amplitude it's uh, 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 pulse rate is 100 to 200 microseconds and the dura the, the frequency is 100 pulse per second right and the third one the burst tense is it is high frequency high intensity and high amplitude because it is a irritational type of current right we said that it works by increasing the intensity stimulation right? the intensity of stimulation so it is irritating current so it is having more than 1000 uh, microsecond it is this and 200 pulse per second is it uh, its frequency right now what type of electrode like uh, uh, where the electrodes are placed in this type of tens so when you are giving the conventional tens the electrodes are placed in a dermatomal presentation dermatomal in the sense the area of pain from where to where it extends there you are going to give the uh dermatomal presentation you are going to give the uh conventional tens application whereas the acupuncture like tens because it is using muscle twitch you are going to give it in the myotomal presentation of the pain now here we are not exactly uh concentrating to the dermatomes and myotomes but yes that presentation has to be followed so that it stimulates the ingoing nerve to the spinal cord and causes the inhibition of the pain right so this is placed dermatomally dermatomally this is placed myotomally and this is placed neurally because it creates region so it should be placed uh, at the nearest nerve trunk that is passing from that area right so when you are to give a neural stimulation or neural pain stimulation you are keeping it on the nerve trunk that is a burst tense you are keeping it on the neural uh, nearest neural junction or nearest nerve junction that is present right for maximum effectivity now what is the duration of treatment for all these three for conventional the duration of treatment it can be continuous it they have researched it through 2 hours per day to 18 hours per day continuously just taking care of the skin under the electrode you can go for stimulation by conventional current because conventional tens is the lowest frequency tens and it is just like a rubbing sensation only thing you have to take care is that it is not causing any uh, electrical reaction or electrical burn that is to be taken care of and other than that it can be applied starting from 2 hours to 18 hours per day especially the time is that whenever the patient feels pain at the maximum he can apply this particular tens right the second uh, tens that is the al tens acupuncture like tens can be given for up to 30 minute per session you can extend the session as per the patient's pain response right or the patient's comfort it can be two sessions a day three sessions a day as per the patient's preference and his comfort but it cannot be given continuously as in conventional tens so per session there should be a 30 minute session and it should be stopped after 30 minute if it is needed it can be reoccur after a certain amount of time the same thing for the irritational burst tens is 15 minutes per session again multiple sessions depending on the patient's pain can be given but at one given point of time it should be 15 minutes per second not more than 15 minutes per second right and the last thing over here is the mechanism of action the mechanism of action of conventional tens is segmental 
when we talk about segmental we talk this the first segment that is right from where the stimulus is given to the spinal cord and then out from the spinal cord so it is segmental related to the one segment of uh, spinal cord right the same segment of spinal cord extra segmental is it involves the higher functions also right and uh, the burst tense because it is causing high intensity stimulation it uses the peripheral the segmental as well as the extra segmental mechanisms so we'll understand what are these segmental extra segmental and peripheral mechanism definitely in the next lecture right so as for now you have to remember this particular table if you are having a book and a pen with you jot down this table and just try to remember it that conventional stimulates the mechanoreceptors uh, al stimulates the ergoreceptors and the a delta burst stimulates the a delta nociceptors conventional gives paresthesia effect uh, al works on muscle contraction effects and burst works on increased stimulation effects convention is high frequency low intensity low amplitude uh, al tenses low frequency high intensity high amplitude and burst is high frequency high intensity high amplitude the electrode is placed dermatomally in conventional it is placed myotomally in uh, al tens acupuncture like tens and it is placed neurally uh, in the burst tense, right? The duration for conventional tense is continuous. It can be given for up to 18 hours, taking care that it is not causing any skin effects or any burn effects or anything of that sort. We're keeping the precautions in mind. Then uh, the AL tense can be given up to 30 minutes per session and the burst tense can be given up to 15 minutes per second these things are going to help us for clinical decision making that where what will be the parameters of tense and how tense mode will be selected and how it is applied so this will help us in deciding these clinical parameters and the mechanism of action is segmental for uh, conventional extra segmental for uh, acupuncture like tense and uh, uh, peripheral segmental as well as extra segmental when it is a burst tense. So now you have to understand that tense is basically used in these three modes and one is continuous, other one is burst and third one is uh, either continuous or burst. The decision making of this depends on the patient's presentation, depends on, on the duration of pain, the intensity of pain. Uh, it also depends on, on the patient's preference also up to a certain extent and there are some things which we will discuss that why the patient stops getting result. So after this we will be moving to the mechanism of action and then we will see that why, uh, what are the actually physiological effects of TENS on the body or how it works physiologically. Right? So see you in the next lecture with mechanism of action of TENS. So this is an additional presentation for understanding how the tense works which we just discussed. Uh, the conventional tense, uh, there are, this is the skin, right? And these are the A beta fibers, the A delta fiber, the C fiber and the muscle, right? This is the muscle, right? So how does it work? The conventional tense penetrates only up to a level of this, that is the A beta fibers right and so it creates an effect on the basis of stimulation of the a beta fibers the al type time that is acupuncture like tense it penetrates till the muscle right and stimulates your g3 fibers creating a twitch over here right so it goes down penetrates to the muscle stimulates the muscle contracts the muscle creates a twitch and thereby it creates its effects right Whereas the burst tense that we are giving is going to penetrate till the A beta and the A delta fibers only. So it is stimulating only till this level that is the A beta and the A delta fibers. So this was a brief presentation for you to understand that when we are giving conventional tense it works only at this level. When you are giving AL tense it works at this level. When you are giving burst tense it works at this level. Right? Thereby inhibiting the pain. This was an additional uh, pictorial presentation for you so that you can effectively understand where and at what level these are working. Thank you.